Diebel's Altbeer. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes, and Buzz Reviews. I have got one here, an out beer from the Devils Brewery, which is based in a place called Cleve in Germany, it's right on the border with Holland. And uh, they're in the region that out beer is brewed and is quite popular. Um, they're owned by AB InBev, unfortunately, so everything that goes with that this brewery has got it and uh, they've been under AB InBev's brewery for I think almost 20 years now so that's um, that's something to take into consideration when you're buying it if that bothers you to be honest I just care about the beer if the beer is good don't get me wrong I don't like their tactics and what they use but I wouldn't judge a particular beer on the people who own it it's how it's brewed and what they put in with it anyway enough about that I'm going right off topic there um, Diebels, or I think it's pronounced Diebels. Um, do you know what that translates to from German? Thieves. Who call their beer after thieves? Um, I don't know, they call it premium Altsbeer. Made by thieves. <laughs> so, what's it all about? Well, this is a 500ml bottle, or 500 or 50 centiliters. It's 4.9% in volume. Um, it's all in German. Um, I'm trying to work out dark special malt or dunkel special malt, dark special malts. Uh, you know, well, it's, it's brewed for the. It's brewed under the Reinheitsgebot, which is good. Um, yeah, ingredients: Wasser, Gastel malt which is malted barley and hop fen, which is or hops, uh, which is what you would expect to find in a good out beer. Let's get it open. Let's see what is going on in the bottle. There is the cap. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but there it is. Diebels, or thieves, if you want. The aroma, out the bottle. Mmm, not a great deal. Some slightly roasted caramel malt. And that's about it. Not a lot else. Let's get it into the glass. Let's see if we can get anything out of the glass. As I say, this is, uh, this is from Cleve in Germany. All you history buffs out there will know that one of Henry VIII's missus came from Cleve, Hen of Cleves. I don't know if she got a red cut off or not, probably not. There it is in the glass. Typical out beer colour. That is a dark chestnut colour. There's a lot of carbonation on that. That's giving that a three finger head. And um, on the nose, out the glass. Not a great deal. Very, very faint caramel malt. I'm hoping this is going to be one of them ones where there's not much aroma, but it tastes absolutely amazing. Let's see. Cheers. Mm. It's not too bad. It's somewhere in between the Frankenheim stuff, which was really sweet, super sweet, and the Uriger, which was quite bitter. This falls somewhere in the middle. 
but it's mainly caramel malt. There's a little bit of hot bitterness on this, but not a great deal. As out beers go, it's <clears throat> it's just okay. It's not bursting with flavour. Um, the flavours are quite subdued. Subdued caramel malt is the big thing here. Very slight hot bitterness at the end of it. I couldn't tell you what hops they're using. I'd be surprised if they're actually. Is it? No, it is. I thought it might be hop extract, but it's not. But the overriding thing here is slight, slight nutty caramel malt with bitter overtones on it and the bitter overtones you get on the back end of it having said that that's quite drinkable um, it's not ringing any alarm bells there is better out beer out there I will say that and um, and I've tried two of them I think the Frankenheim stuff is good and Uriga stuff, U Uriga, I think that's pronounced Uriga, it's Uriga. Um, they're quite popular. Now, if you look on Wikipedia, if you look out beer up, they'll say it's not popular over Germany. And to an extent that is the case, but you can buy Uriga and the Frankenheim stuff, you can buy that all over Germany. So it must be popular somewhere. Um, this stuff, it's it's just okay it's not really doing anything for me and it's not making me think that i would want to buy this again but having said that it isn't bad it's quite clean drinking um the flavors are quite subdued this is cold it's coming out of the fridge so even with you know cold beer if the flavors are good you can still get it while they're cold this really doesn't, as I say, doesn't stand out as being amazing. But it's a quite a good representation of the Alkbeer style. But it's certainly not the best. Um, what is the verdict? Well, <clears throat> this was reasonably cheap. Um, it's brewed by AB InBev, or it's owned by a company that's um, it's it's brewed by a company that's owned by AB InBev. So if that's going to give it a ump, then don't buy it. Um, I do find it find it quite funny that they've called themselves thieves. <laughs> but um, all in all, it's not bad. I'd give it a six and a half out of ten. It's not doing anything unpleasant. It's not one of the beers that I would warn people against. Um, it's just okay. It's just doing enough to make me think this is passable. So, not, <clears throat> not exactly bursting with flavour. It's just caramel malt, a little hot bitterness on the end. And reasonably drinkable six and a half out of ten and if it's cheap buy it if you've got a choice there's other out beers that are better and remember beer is white and class champagne <laughs>